Folks, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. We've got a uh, Yamada air diaphragm pump. This is a model NDP 15 FPS. Uh, half inch air diaphragm pump, um, capable of putting bleach through it, rinse it, whatnot. Um, show you a repair video on this and kind of just dismantle the whole thing. Uh, most times what you're going to have happen uh, with it is you're going to have either this manifold crack or that manifold crack. The way that it works, you have your air supply will come in through here. You usually have a ball valve or whatever thing there. And then it comes out this hole. Uh, if in the course of using your pump, it stops pumping, this little valve uh, will sometimes be popped all the way out. You'll see about to there. All you do is you come over and you push it. That'll go ahead and reset it. Sometimes it'll vapor lock, air lock, whatever. Um, sometimes you can actually have it freeze up because of so much air coming through there. That's why you need to have a water separator. Um, this one, the diaphragm inside of it has broken. And I'm going to take this apart. We have another diaphragm pump. Same thing. Um, in our box truck that unfortunately this part broke now you can see on here we got a little pinhole crack in there already um, these pumps work fine they do their job um, plastic components being plastic uh, eventually plastic just doesn't last forever um, but if you're having issues in the course of using it check right here um, what we do is we basically put uh, banjo fittings right here, um, and then we cam lock onto that fitting so it's quick, easy off, easy on, um, on both setups. That way, if we had to in the field, we can literally take one pump out, put the other one in. It's just a couple of fittings. Just disconnect, disconnect, and then we can go ahead and throw the... Um, oh, where do we have it? There, we put the male um, and a half inch adapter on it. So take this part off. One second here. All right, so we worked our way up a little bit with this. Um, you don't wanna put a hammer or anything else to pry it up. There we go. All right, so we've got this off. Another real quick thing about this, you can absolutely flip it around. So if you wanna have it in this direction and shoot out the other way, that just works better for you. The way we have ours is usually in, out, same way, and that's the default way that it comes. So ring already popped out. So check in here. This is completely flush, does not matter. This side, again, you get your O-rings that go in there. So we're gonna take this same piece off of our other pump and put this one on. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The only difference between this and the bottom, the bottom one actually has a longer bolt. So if you have to, we'll be able to take this piece off. They're universal. Um, it's literally, we could flip the thing upside down if we wanted to, but again, this part and this part are exactly the same. Um, again, this one has a busted um, diaphragm inside of it. The way you know that you've got a busted diaphragm on it is when all of a sudden out of your air outlet, your exhaust pipe right here, which we put a ball valve there and a ball valve on this side, just whatever. Um, I wanted to make sure that like bugs and crap weren't getting in this side. Um, but we were doing a job one day and this side just starts spraying water. Our you know, not really water, but so we're gonna go ahead and set this up here, take these off. Make sure that we don't lose all the nuts off this. Granted, again, this is just for spare parts now. We put it back together so that we can make a video for you. All 
unlike some of the other pumps that I have had to use, um, this one in particular, all the fittings are nice and uh, universal. If you've got a uh, Comet P3610 pump, those ones, um, the gas-powered air diaphragm ones, and you can see these, these just came out of here. This together in the top of here. Turn all these fittings coming out here. These are also what helps to basically so it doesn't go two different directions here. Um, so let's take this off, and I may need to take the bottom out of here. <sighs> Super hot in the shop right now. Now these pumps, I've got a black version of this on one of our air diaphragm skids. Um, losing nuts everywhere. You see, we take that off. That can come off. Oh, just lost another O-ring. But let's see if we can get... Show you of course this is gonna to want to be fully dismantled so we're gonna pause here all right I uh, just want to show you this too we use Teflon tape you can see actually there's a little bit still left in there but we're gonna go take this out take it fully apart got this off We've got our air diaphragm and let's see hmm which side is the busted side yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one you can actually take and screw these up oh, look at that hole so when it actually goes through basically this center part is pulling and pushing this back and forth that's what actually does that's what you hear that rat a tat tat or whatever back and forth action on it but I mean that that obviously is shot we ended up just switching the pump um, you can buy this just the thing and if you're gonna take the time to take the whole thing apart um, go ahead and replace both of them if you want to um, you don't have to but I'm gonna take that apart too um, see the condition of this rubber is actually still pretty good this completely ripped so there's no save in it um, but I would replace both of them at the same time and then keep this good one because eventually another one of them is going to break at least this way you're not taking it all the way apart and then you know three more months down the line this other one busts and you're like well let me take the whole thing apart again um, we used the two different pumps that we have um about a year and a half um had to replace manifold a couple times and we're gonna really yeah see that crack in there that's that actually looks like it goes a little bit deeper so like i said earlier we'll just take the uh, little end sticker off of this and we will put this on our other pump because this one let me see looks good I'll take the air compressor to it blow this out real quick just get all that dirt and dust and stuff out of it um so you can see we got a ton of fittings here make sure you don't lose them uh, but again if you do it's going to be okay you can find other spare parts for it um so that's pretty much again it's a yamada air diaphragm pump half inch um eight to 15 gallons per minute have a great day see ya